Okay, so here's my audience today. Here's my boyfriend Chris and my cousin Hannah, which is what my speech is about. So my speech is about my cousin Hannah and her journey. In May of 2011, Hannah was 10 years old. She had a very active childhood. She attended Pat Gray Academy in Meridian. While she was there, she did dance, competitive cheer, and gymnastics. While she was very active in all of these things, she noticed a difference in her left knee. She had a little bit of swelling, but no one ever expected it to be anything more than just being sore. As the swelling got a little worse, her mom made her a doctor's appointment just to make sure that everything was okay. The doctor ran a test for arthritis, and after getting the results back, he didn't find anything concern of her leg. Hannah went on living a normal life, continuing dance and cheer. Five months later, Hannah's world turned upside down. The symptoms got worse on her leg, the swelling increased, and the sharp pains began to occur while she tried to walk. She went back to the doctor and he ran more tests on her leg. He was looking for a cyst now. Hannah got an MRI and blood work done that day, and when they got the results back for the scan, they found a tumor which was thought to be osteosarcoma. Our family began looking for children's cancer hospitals. Hannah's patrician, pediatrician made her appointment at St. Jude's Re Children's Research Hospital in January of 2012. In her first week of being at the hospital, the doctors performed a biopsy and they found a malignant tumor called Ewing sarcoma. After discovering the news, Hannah and her family had to adjust to their new life at St. Jude. They began treating the cancer by 14 rounds of chemotherapy. The chemo caused her to lose her hair and to have a low immune system. Consequently, every round of chemo, she would have fever and have to take antibiotics. She had an eight hour limb sparing surgery where the surgeons removed the tumor from her left leg. Most of her lower femur, knee, and upper tibia was replaced with a prosthesis. After she had an auto cell bone marrow transplant followed by six weeks of radiation treatment. After almost two years of treatment, she was finally in remission. Hannah was now able to come home. She only had to visit St. Jude every three months for checkups, but she would eventually only have to come for checkups every one or two years. After watching Hannah go through these last six years, I realized how blessed our family is. God performs miracles in mysterious ways. I am more than thankful that he stood by her in every moment of her journey. He showed us that all things were possible if we put our trust into him, and I am more than thankful for that.